Hey guys, Tyler here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Seagate Barracuda 2TB hard drive. So let me just start off by saying I have bought this hard drive, I think, five to six different times, all of which have been either for my own computer back there, um, or whether I was building someone else's computer. If you're building a computer or you're wanting to upgrade externally storage, this is the go-to for everyone. You can see on Amazon how much uh, good reviews it has. So. Obviously, I'm not the only one saying how good of a hard drive, or not, I'm not even gonna say how good of it a hard drive it is. How consistently, um, how consistently good it is, and that's a huge difference because this is consistently always the go-to hard drive if you're upgrading storage. Obviously, this is the two terabyte version, but it comes in so many different more. I know there's 500 gigabytes, two terabytes, four terabytes. I think there's even an eight terabyte option, and Seracuda or not Seracuda, Seagate Barracuda hard drives are really the go-to. I will never not recommend them for hard drives. This will probably be the same type of hard drive company that I always buy from. Obviously they do more than just hard drives, but I'm saying for hard drives themselves, these will always be my go-to's. And as well as good reputation, their drive speeds aren't even that bad. It goes at, I think it was 7200 RPM speed. So that is really good. Like I said before, I have two of these in my PC over there and it easily handles all games um, I have let's see I have my entire Steam library downloaded onto two of these so between four terabytes total all my games are on there all my applications and I've never had any issues with it it was super easy to set up once I threw it in I made sure that it was being read by my PC and I was all set from there it was that simple and packaging wise once you actually get the package literally all you have to do it's very frustration free you just take it out slap her in connect it via SATA or however else you might want to try and it's really it's almost a plug and play I mean once you do that obviously make sure it's being read by your computer if it's not being read um, all you have to do is format it so I'm not gonna tell you how to do that right now but you could just search up format disk in your search bar at the bottom if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11 and you format it yourself and you're all set and that's if it's already not being recognized by your computer so overall at the end of my reviews I usually say if I do or I do not recommend the products this is probably going to be one of my biggest yeses on recommendations for the products that I review just because I in the past have very good experience using this same hard drive therefore I have no reason to not recommend it because it's done everything I've wanted it to and more so why would I not recommend something that does exactly as advertised, if not more?